Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Dremel Versus. <coughs> like I said in the last video, today, th this this episode is Dremel Versus Steel Cable Bike Lock. I don't know how many mil thick that is, but whatever. So, so I'm gonna start like, you know, some are reasonable, so let me... Uh, <coughs> so let me... Mm, unwind this thing. So, damn it. Mm. I so see we'll start in the middle there, right here. So let me put it in the vise. I believe this is also a master lock. It's a master lock. Um. <laughs> Steel cable bike lock. So, does it, does it say on there? Yep. Master. Yeah. Turn the camera upside down. Master lock. So, there's a lock from the last episode. Same cut off wheel. Wheel. He did. That's, hey dad, that's a cool whip. <laughs> ah, I thought you couldn't understand I thought you couldn't understand me. Ah. Okay, so you have the plastic outer layer and then the inner thicker steel cable layer. Let's just get to it, shall we? Oh that smell it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> God, it smells like when a, so when a soldering iron touches, touches a cloak, touches a, you know, something like rubber or plastic. Okay. Turn around the middle the coating. Turn around the outer coating. Now, we watch the sparks fly. We watch the sparks fly. Yeah, that's not going to last very long, is it? Cut away some of this uh, plastic. Ooh, this thing is just covered in it now. What have I do? What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? So freaky. Ah. Uh, I should have brought my knife. Is there a knife in here now? So you can see the steel cable. Um, so, yeah. Smells like when a wire gets. Smells like when a puny little. Um, why you just gets overloaded or like shorted out? Ugh. God, it breaks. Plastic is all like icky. It's going straight through. Yeah. Oh, I really should get my fume extractor in here. I'm gonna get a way to put it together. That's going straight through. Yep. Your cable is not the most reliable. But look at that, I've already, I just made it through. Look at that, it just went through. Went straight through. Look at that, now you just have your plastic. Whoop! Let's do that again. Right here. Cut that piece right there. No, we'll cut the piece of the vise. Cut the piece of the vise right here. You 
see the disc sinking. See the cutoff wheel just sinking down in it. Boom, there you go. So, yeah. I mean, that took shorter than this, and... So, yeah, if you want to lock up your bike, use a padlock and chain. This will take longer to get through than this. Now, what? Now, the, as a bonus piece, I'm going to see how long it'll take to get through the actual combination lock mechanism. Damn it, damn charger cable keeps getting in the fucking way. <clears throat> So, yeah, there's your combo. I have no idea what the combo is. Again, this is like just like the last one. I just found this lock. I just found this lock. I don't remember where. It's been so long and I just dug it out of my drawer. Drawer in my, uh, in my closet. So. <clears throat> So, now we're going to go straight down through here. Right down the middle of the number nine there. Er, no, six, sorry. My bad, it's, it's upside down. That's a... That's a six. Just for the hell of it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut off one of these little, one of these little notches right here. Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah. And then it keeps turning. Keeps got going down like that. Let's go back to this. This is like the o almost the only, the only part of the lock that's almost as thick as that thing. And then, and then that's just supposed to show you that how 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 crappy everything is. I mean, it's made in China. What do you expect? I mean, well, then again, the master lock is actually made in Milwaukee, but I I said that on the most part of most of the master lock company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but. Uh, I mean, it's a combo wheel. Wow. 
wobbling a little, vibrating a little grill over there. Crapping all over my face. Not bad. Quick little sub in half. I thought it cut through it, I thought it would be damaged to the point where it wouldn't just, where it just wouldn't turn at all. See it sink into the the shark like jaws in the like the shark in the movie jaws, you can sink your teeth down and just pop. Like a knife in the jello or cake or whatever. Mud. Thick and mud or whatever. And, and this is really, this is the most vulnerable, vulnerable part of the lot. I mean, why? Whoa! Crap, that smoke is bad. Huh! Spit all over my screen. Ugh. the most vulnerable part of watch when you forget like twisting and trying to figure out what the combo is you mean just take a drum and you see it's, it's just a bunch of steel threads woven together it's not a bunch of like it's not like a hardened steel shackle yeah <coughs> god this steel just turns my stomach That's part of the lot. This piece is actually pretty strong. Anyway, anyways, so that's it for this episode of Dremel Versus. Next, next episode we'll be doing this commercial grade master padlock. It has a bit of a thicker shackle than this standard master padlock. You can kind of see what I mean when I hold them side by side, but it's just ever so slightly thicker, and it just has, it has more rivets than this one. It has four rivets, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rivets. Four and four. So, yeah. That is how you get into a bike lock. God, this small is just turning my stomach. <coughs> so, that's it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.